Traversing arrays in Python is a very good way to test if um, a candidate has the ability to handle uh, arrays of, of numbers, objects, whatever it might be. And this is actually a really good problem to test that. And um, what we want to do is find the pivot index of, of an array. Ultimately, to find out um, at what index do, do the numbers on the left equal the, the sum of the numbers on the left equals the sum of the numbers on the right. And so the way we're going to solve this is by traversing the array and then um, incrementing and decrementing certain variables. So the way it looks is something like this. n equals len of nums, n equals len of nums, if n is 1, return 0. Okay, so if it's just one um, value in the array, to the left you have an empty array, to the right you have an empty array, so it's 0. Okay, if sum, if sum of nums 1 forward is 0, return 0. Okay, because that means all the numbers to the right of the first integer in that array add up to zero, and to the left we have an empty array, which adds up, empty set adds up to, to zero. So then we have sm equals sum of nums. sm equals sum of nums. Now, this is where we kind of want to start. Right? We want to have the whole sum of the array, traverse through the array, and decrement something else while we traverse through the array and check if they're equal. But not entirely true. We actually want to start one to the right. So you say sm minus equals num0. Okay, and now we have all the, the values of the integers added up to the right of the first value. Okay, so everything to the left at this point is an empty array, is just an empty array. Nothing is there. Now this is the other variable that we're going to want to test against, which is l, l for left. Okay, and then we say for i, for i in range n minus 1 l plus equals nums i l plus equals nums i sm minus equals nums i plus one this is the pivot value okay this is the pivot value that we want to kind of freeze in time and test if the left and the right uh, sums are equal okay so l and sm are ultimately the ones that we want to test if they're equal so we say if l if l is sm return i plus one return i plus one that's the pivot point right now we traverse through our array and we continue to test this all the way until the end with the exception of the last element. Remember there's an empty array to the right of the last element, so we have to check one more thing. We say if sum, if sum of nums up to colon negative one, that means up to but not including the last element in the array, equals zero, return n minus one, return n minus one. If none of the above passes and we don't have anything to return, return minus one as the instructions call for. So we run, accepted, submit, outstanding.